Minecraft Live is literally happening right now. I should probably upload. So let's just do that. I wanna show you what I did earlier this week on stream. First of all, I dug this entire area out, so now we have just basically a big cube. And then I started digging this hole, didn't finish because once I got down here, I started lighting up like a ton of caves. Ooh, got a couple shulker boxes as well. So what am I thinking for this cliff? You may be wondering. I don't know exactly. I'm just gonna shape it out a little bit more. And then after I do that, I'm gonna start detailing it. Just like I detailed this cliff down here. All right, so let's just start with some stone and I'm gonna also take some grass. And just to get a better feel for it, I'm just gonna outline everything in grass. And that is the outline just so I can actually like get a better idea of where this cliff is. But yeah, now you can see kind of how it is. And now let's just start doing the stone. And done. So that is this cliff, at least the beginning of it, no detailing whatsoever. And then this area will also have to probably go out a little bit more. Now this is where I'm gonna end this because I don't wanna have to finish all of this right now. Even though soon enough, I think I will do the same thing over here. Wait, why shouldn't I finish that actually? Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna wrap it around all the way to over here. Then I'm gonna see if I can build a cliff on here as well. Oh, where are those noises coming from? Oh my god. They're old zombies. I even noticed that creeper. I just ignored it. So now I guess back onto these cliffs. I want this right here to be the biggest peak. And there we are. And let's just connect this thing down to here. And now it's grass time. There we go. And now let's actually get to a time lapse. Now this base is really coming together. Even just adding this grass makes it so much better because just the stone was a little bit ugly and I should probably also change this. But as you saw from the end of that time lapse, I also got a ton of grass and dirt, which is really nice. My inventory is also full. Technically all I really needed for right now is just finishing this off and maybe like doing this area. I feel like the next thing that I have, I just have to do it. I will have to start the mountains. I'm not gonna do the texturing and like the overhangs of this because I've already done enough overhangs and texturing already. And there was a point in time where I just didn't feel like recording here. And that's when I built this giant hole, which it kind of took a piece off of the actual building over there, but also it goes all the way down. So it looks really cool now. But I'm gonna stop wasting your guys' time and, and my time, quite frankly. And I'm gonna actually start building the thing you guys came here for. So the way that I do this is literally just by making a bunch of triangles like this. And once everything has triangles up like this, then I will have to fill it all in. And I'm hoping it's gonna look pretty cool. And then occasionally it goes in just a little bit. And this is where, say, like some snow or some grass will be. And then it keeps on going up. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the entire build. And this time you're going to also have shaders. Woohoo. So without further ado, let's get on to the time lapse.
honestly, I have no idea why I put that off for so long. That was a very fun time lapse. And now we have a giant spider web. <laughs> of course. And this is how it's supposed to look. It honestly looks pretty cool. Now it has a little bit more like spikiness at the top, which I might want to die that down a little bit because I did like the curve. And right now I think I should probably just like fill it in. But you guys are probably getting pretty bored of time lapses. So I'm going to show you guys how to build the spruce trees that I build because I need trees like this place has been looking super super bland and I always think like why is that but it's because there are no trees all right these are probably going to be enough leaves and then I do have a wood shulker box with a ton of spruce wood first of all I'm going to make a little circle so this is this is the base of the spruce tree and then out from it, roots. And as you can see, we have this. And you might be thinking right now, yeah, it doesn't look good with the uh, unmatching colors. But that's why I'm doing this. And then the sun is setting on the other side of the mountain. That actually looks really nice, yeah. I'm sad that we're not going to be able to see the sun, though, later. And now this is what the wood looks like when it's all stripped. And now I'm just going to start building upwards. It's literally that easy. And the way that I'm doing this right now isn't really good if you don't have many blocks because it's kind of just spanning. And that is three stacks. After you think that you got a good height and that looks good. And now I have to strip all the wood. And if I were you, I would probably strip the wood while I'm going up just to not get annoyed. And now that I finished stripping, <clears throat> I can start adding the branches. And now the branches are a bit odd. They're definitely gonna be a little bit more tedious than the actual like stalk. But all you really do is just that. And the way that I like to do it is that the first layer is gonna be a little bit smaller and then it's gonna go out a little bit and then it's gonna go all the way in up to the top. But this is when I would strip all the logs down here. And now that I've finished stripping, I can go up to the next layer. And when it comes to terraforming, never make anything quote unquote even. And what I mean by that is that on this bottom layer, there are six branches. And on this top layer, there, there are only five. That's what I mean. Change it up a little bit. And then also don't make it exactly on top of each other. Because then there will be par parts of the tree just without any leaves. And it will look a little bit weird. And then the stripping process again. Now we just continue going upwards, doing the same process. Except this time I'm gonna make it a little bit easier on myself and strip the wood right as I go. And then also while you go, you can always just like add a couple like little branches here and there. And I'm out of wood again. Just remember to collect a little bit of <laughs> my skin. And as you can see with these upper layers, you can see that I'm barely adding anything. And now for the leaves. You literally just have to like put it onto the branches. So you already did the dirty work and you're gonna also have to collect like a lot of leaves for a spruce tree as well. But you know, it's a tree. It's made out of wood and leaves. So what do you expect? And after I have one and a half layers done, you can tell that this is why I say that you've already done the dirty work. Cause it's pretty simple from here on out. When I do this though, I do extend the leaves quite a bit from the actual wood. It's just to get the exact shape. You can always change things. That that's the that's the part about terraforming or any my type of Minecraft building that I like. And also when it comes to spruce trees, you don't need to add the branches. That's just something that I like doing. When I actually started to build trees, I felt like they were too thin. I just decided to add the branches just so it would have more depth and width. <laughs> but I guess this is a good time to look at it. And look at that. It's very thick, very bushy. You can still clearly see the wood in inside. And from now on, you don't really want it to have too many leaves right by the branches because you want it to really thin out. And then at the top, I like just adding a little bit more depth by just making it go to the side a little bit, just because why not? I want to see it from this side just to see 
if it's missing any blocks majorly, of which like right there, I would probably add some leaves right here just to fill it up a little bit. So now I'm just gonna add another couple spruce trees like this just around the area. And then I'm gonna add a couple smaller ones over there just so it wouldn't dwarf the mountains. So all the spruce trees will be here in three, two, and look at that. It looks incredible in my opinion. That's all I'm gonna say. So basically I have an oak tree right here and then I decided to build two more spruce trees. I didn't build anything over there like smaller just cause I didn't really feel like doing that right now. But these are different because they're not the same blocks. Like this one is oak basically. Oops. And this one is a gradient of spruce all the way up to oak and azalea. So that looks really good. But then this one is just oak and azalea. And it looks really good in my opinion. I also changed the bridge from being there and me not liking it very much to this. Of which I love. It has like a little curve so it's like things can still go through. It's kind of like this bridge over here in the way like how old it looks and stuff. But then I also wasn't the happiest with this house over here. So I added some azalea and moss onto the roof. And I added windows which look really good in my opinion. But now I think it's time to do the one thing that you guys really came here for. That's doing the time lapse for the mountain. Hope you enjoy this time lapse. See you then. To everyone who has made it to here in the video, thank you guys so much for watching. You are a part of a very, very few amount of people who actually watch till the end. And for this video specifically, you can see quite how much time and effort I've spent on it because I want it to actually be interesting, like specifically with the music in the background. But anyways, if you made it to the end of the video, it would really be appreciated if you gave a like because this video was very fun, but it, it just took a very long time to make. And if you're not already subscribed, you can do that as well. But anyways, this was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next video soon.